Gerald Fried, composer who won an Emmy and was nominated for an Oscar, has passed away at the age of 95. According to media reports, Gerald Fried, who won an Emmy for his work on The Roots miniseries and scores of other TV projects, passed away on Friday in Connecticut from complications related to pneumonia. He was 95. Fried was born on February 13, 1928 in the Bronx, and he went to the High School of Music in New York City, as well as the Juilliard School of Music. After playing as the first oboist with the Dallas Symphony, the Pittsburgh Symphony, and New York's Little Orchestra, he eventually made his way to California to perform with the Los Angeles Philharmonic for one season. In the latter half of the 1950s, he moved to Hollywood and started creating music for movies, television shows, and other types of media. Fried was honored with five Emmy nominations and won the award for Outstanding Achievement in Music Composition in 1977. According to Variety, the producer reportedly had concerns that the production would not be completed on time due to the fact that the original composer, Quincy Jones, was reportedly missing deadlines. In addition, Fried was shortlisted for an Academy Award in the category of Best Music, Original Dramatic Score, for his work on the documentary Birds Do It, Bees Do It, which was released in 1974 and focused on animal sexuality. During the course of his career spanning six decades, he contributed musical compositions to dozens of television shows. Some of these shows include Star Trek, Gilligan's Island, The Man from Unkill, Gunsmoke, and others. The composer provided the score for many films directed by his childhood buddy Stanley Kubrick, including The Killing in 1956 and Paths of Glory in 1957. This is perhaps the composer's most notable accomplishment. At that time, he made the following remark, On TV, you see it once, go home, and by the following Friday you're conducting the music. It was both thrilling and horrifying all at the same time. Because the schedules were so packed, I had no choice but to rely on my initial thoughts. There was an orchestra there, and you needed to have the music ready as soon as possible. Under those kinds of conditions, you pick up very quickly on what functions well and what does not. Fried was also an activist who supported many initiatives aimed at stemming the spread of the AIDS epidemic. In 1987, Zach, who was only five years old at the time, passed away from AIDS after receiving a blood transfusion that contained HIV. He was the man's own son. Fried's wife, Anita, as well as four of their children, six of their grandchildren, and three of their great-grandchildren survive him. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you like it, subscribe for more celebrity news.